Jordan. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How was your Fourth of July? It was really fun. I went to my dad's house and he lives on a lake. Wow. What was the weather nice? It was so nice. We just spent the whole weekend on the water. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, it's really relaxing. Sounds really fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since last time you were here, we took x-rays um, when you were here and I looked over them. And so as you can see here, mm -hmm. we have bone loss in this area. So typically your bones should be about two to three millimeters below the crown of your tooth. So as okay. you can see, it's a little bit low in your case. Yeah. Oh, so when you have bone loss and deep probing nuts like you do, that's when we start seeing um, periodontitis. Okay. Yes. So before I start explaining what that is, tell me what you know about periodontitis. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I do know that my grandma had that and she ended up losing all of her teeth from it, so oh I really gosh. hope that's not the case for me. I understand your concern, but you're very young and good news is you came in when you did, so we can just work on making things better instead of letting them get worse. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to explain what periodontitis is. Periodontitis begins as gingivitis and gingivitis is just when bacteria causes your gums to bleed and just causes inflammation. Okay. So when that bacteria is left undisturbed, mm -hmm. which means like if you don't brush your teeth very well or like get in between the contacts of your yeah. teeth, um, it can start getting stronger okay. and then that can like destroy the tissues that support your teeth, like your bone. Mm -hmm. So that's what you see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what you call periodontitis and if it's left untreated, then your teeth can start getting loose and your gums can start receding and you can eventually lose your teeth, like unfortunately your grandma does. So it's really important that we start treating your teeth to prevent that from happening. Okay, yeah. Um, I definitely want to know what the treatment <laughs> entails for me. Yes. So to start, we're going to do a deep cleaning and this is called scaling and replaning. So that's when we're going to use dental instruments and we're going to remove the plaque, the tartar, and the bacteria from your teeth. Okay. Um, so then your mouth can start feeling and looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. And then in four to eight weeks, we're gonna bring you back in for a re-evaluation. And so re-evaluation, that just means that we're going to do all the probing ducts again, and we're gonna look for improvement. Okay. If we don't see improvement and the probing ducts getting smaller, then we might have to refer you to the perio clinic and okay. you might have to get treatment there. Okay. But in your case, I'm really hoping for the opposite and mm -hmm. we're gonna see some improvement. Okay. If we see improvement, then every three months, you're gonna be coming in for cleanings. These are called maintenance appointments. Okay. So we call them maintenance because unfortunately, we can't reverse bone loss, yeah. but we can stop it from getting worse mm -hmm. and keep your mouth in the position that it is now and just like improve what we can. Okay. So we're maintaining what, it, what we already have yeah. and preventing it from getting worse. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So uh, now that I explain the treatment, do you have any questions? Tell me what questions you have. Um, I don't think I really have any questions. I guess it's more of a concern. Mm -hmm. um, it just sounds a, like a lot more invasive than a normal cleaning that I, I'm used to. Mm -hmm. And even with the probing depths, like that was a little bit sensitive. So I'm a little bit nervous that it's gonna hurt really bad. Yeah, um, that's a very fair concern. It mm -hmm. does sound invasive, but we're gonna use local anesthetics. You shouldn't feel anything. And if you do, you can just let me know and you can use some more. Okay. Also, we're gonna split your mouth up in halves. Okay. So then you'll have one side of your mouth that isn't sore and you can chew on that side okay. in between treatments. So it'll be two appointments done. Two appointments okay. for the deep cleaning. Yes, okay. good question. So now that we've gone over the treatment, can you just re-explain those steps to me so that I know I explained it well enough and that we're on the same page? Yes. Okay, so I have what's called periodontitis, mm -hmm. which is like inflammation of my gums and then I have bone loss. Um, but I have to come in for deep cleanings, which is going to be two appointments. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come back in, I think you said four to eight weeks yeah. to make sure that everything's improving mm -hmm. and that things aren't getting worse. And then um, every three months, I will be coming back in for a clean. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now that we went over all of that and we're on the same mm -hmm. page about the treatment, um, is this seem like something you'd want to continue with or is there anything that you feel like maybe could get in the way of your treatment? Um... I definitely know that uh, this is something that has to be done, like I want to take care of my mouth and I don't want to lose my teeth, like mm -hmm. I want it to get better, uh, but when I go to the dentist, I typically only see the hygienist twice a year mm -hmm. and this sounds like it's going to be more frequent, so yes. I guess I'm just a little bit concerned about the cost of it. Mm -hmm. um, so do you have insurance? Yeah, I do. Okay, so typically scaling and replacing is covered by insurance. Well, why don't we go 
to financially now and you can get a better understanding so uh, yeah next appointment we can decide now we'll give you some time to think about it okay yeah all right great. perfect all right Thank let's go you. do that yeah. of course thank you for coming in